Yo, what's going on guys? Colton Mush back at it with another video. The division system requirements have been released and I want to go over them. This is a game that has had a really weird journey. When it originally was announced back in 2013, this was one of the most anticipated games of the next generation. It actually wasn't even originally announced for the PC, but then us PC gamers complained. And then Ubisoft acquiesced to our demands and announced a PC version. However, over the years, it's seen some delays and obviously the graphical downgrade. Now the game's almost finally coming out and the system requirements have been released and they are pretty damn high, higher than I expected at least. So without further ado, let's get right into this. With minimum CPU requirements, you're looking at an Intel Core i5-2400, that's a Sandy Bridge processor, or an AMD FX6100, so we don't know if an i3 is even going to be able to run this game. And on the AMD side, they are recommending a 6-core processor, so that's beefy stuff for a minimum requirement. And then when you go to the recommended processor, you're looking at an Intel Core i7-3770, which is an Ivy Bridge CPU or the AMD FX 8350. The 8350 was one of the more popular AMD CPUs, still pretty prevalent these days. The takeaway here is that the game is going to be utilizing your i7 and the 8350, their multi-core design, so that's pretty nice to see. But still, pretty beefy stuff as far as recommended CPUs go. If I were to give my own input, if you have something like an i5 that's overclocked a little bit, I would say that you're going to be perfectly fine. I believe Assassin's Creed Syndicate had similar kinds of requirements, and I have an overclocked i5 myself, and I was able to run that game fine. Minimum RAM requirement is 6GB of RAM. Recommended RAM is 8GB of RAM. Nothing really crazy there. Just about everybody and their mothers have 8GB of RAM. I mean, even if you buy a pre-built computer these days, one that's very cheap, it still likely has 8GB of RAM. So most of you guys, if you're building a gaming PC these days, it has 8GB of RAM. And for whatever reason, if you have 4GB of RAM, well, it's so freaking cheap that you might as well just go upgrade. Now, obviously, the biggest thing is the video card requirement. Minimum video card requirement isn't too bad. You're looking at a GTX 560 2GB. They're saying that that's equivalent to a GeForce GTX 760. Or you'll be fine with an AMD Radeon HD 7770, which is a very old video card just like the 560 is, so just to get this game running, you're not going to need anything crazy. Even if you have something like a 750 Ti, I think you'll be fine. But the recommended video card requirement, you're looking at an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 970, a pretty high-end video card, you know, that $300, $350 video card, or an AMD R9 290, which is also a pretty high-end video card. And usually when developers have a video card listed as recommended and run a game at 1440p maxed out and get 60 FPS, you're probably going to need a 980 Ti to do that with The Division, which is pretty substantial. I know a lot of people aren't going to think the same way, but I was just thinking since the game did have that big graphical downgrade, I was thinking the system requirements were going to be a bit lower. But I'll have you guys more details when the game actually releases because I will definitely be testing that game out on a variety of different video cards and I will give you exact results. And one last thing to note is that the game will require 40 gigabytes of hard drive space, which honestly isn't that bad. This is like an open world MMO. It's got a lot of content to it. So 40 gigabytes is not too bad. We've seen games that have been 50 to 60 gigabytes. So 40 gigabytes is all right in my opinion. So that's going to wrap up this video, guys. Let me know in the comment section down below. I'm really interested to see what you guys think. Is The Division a game that you're excited about anymore or is it a game over the years it's just been delayed too much like i said the graphical downgrade it's killed the hype for a lot of people i'm still somewhat interested in the game the beta for the game actually starts at the end of the month i'll definitely be checking that out as well so let me know your guys thoughts in the comment section down below as always thanks for watching if you have a request for a future video leave it in the comment section down below have a great day and i will catch you guys in the next one peace out